Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the Surface Go. I was able to take a look at them at a local place where they had them set up, and they're just a smaller version of the larger Surface Pro line. And what we have is a much less expensive, starting at $399 and going to $550, depending on the configuration version of the Surface. This one has 8 gigabytes of RAM and also the 1.6 gigahertz CPU. So I was able to run some benchmarks on them at the end of this video, you'll see that, but let's take a closer look. Now on the side you'll see we have a headphone jack, USB Type-C, and then a surface connector. And that USB-C is not only I.O., but it's also a charge port. On the other side we have the little lip for the kickstand, and the keyboard and the pen are not included, so you will have to buy those extra. However, on the back the kickstand folds flat like the current Surface Pro line and then also you can see there's the expandable memory slot. On the bottom where the keyboard attaches it's a little different than before and you can see the trackpad is nice and large for such a small device and it feels really good. The keys on the keyboard have a really nice throw to them as well. There's also this little Surface mouse. I didn't really like it. It's very flat much like the Apple mice that we've seen. Now compared to the larger Surface Pro, it's definitely a lot smaller, but it's much more like a 9.7 iPad. But here you'll see next to the larger Surface Pro again, and then I was able to put them together to show you exactly the size difference. So if you're familiar with the Surface Pro line, you'll see they're significantly smaller, but much more portable. So on every dimension pretty much it's smaller. It is fanless and then you've got a lot of connectivity but no USB type A. You'll need a different dongle for that. Now you'll see the back with the keyboard looks the same but like I said before you can't use previous ones. Now speed was okay. There was a little bit of stuttering there as you saw but I was able to open up a bunch of different things. I went to my website and was able to scroll. It works just fine and pinch to zoom works just fine. No problems there. But then what I did next was I decided to open up every application I could. And you'll see I'm switching through a bunch of them very quickly. And I thought I'd just try out and see what it could run. So I went into Excel, opened up an Excel document, which isn't very intensive, but I was able to check that out. And then also after doing that, I thought I'd open up a Word document. That's probably what a lot of people are going to be doing with it. So I figured I'd open that up and take a look. And then aside from that, you've got the new pen. So the pen attaches to the side magnetically, just like you'd expect from a Surface. And the touch input's pretty good. Although, if you watch here, the touch rejection of my palm was not the greatest for that specific use, but I'll have to test it later. The actual speed is very fast, and it keeps up nicely with the pen. There's not a whole lot of lag even slowed down this much, it's pretty good. So I think most people would be pretty happy, although it is a $99 addition to get this pen to use. Now I was able to run Antutu benchmarks on this and I couldn't install anything else because it's Windows S. So I had to find something in the App Store that would actually work. And it ran pretty smooth while running the benchmarks and it looked pretty good, but the score will tell us everything. However, I felt the back of it and it was only slightly warm. It wasn't hot at all. Now you can see the different info for the device after I was done running the benchmarks. And let's take a closer look at those scores. So you can see the score is 161,054. So that's pretty good compared to other devices I'll show you here. I'm not sure you'll be able to play Fortnite on it. I'll have to try that later and compare it to an iPad as well. Lo let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.